Well, we're here in Wellfleet um, with the Wellfleet Oyster Project. I wanted to give you a little bit of background on how this came to be and what we're trying to do here. Uh, the town is facing uh, increasing requirements from the federal government and the state uh, environmental uh, protection agency to clean up our waters and bring these water bodies into what's considered excellent water quality standards. And in the process of looking at a variety of different options to do that, uh, we came across a, a, a report that was done by one of Anna Maria Frankick's graduate students at the U UMass Boston talking about oyster restoration and looking at o the opportunity for oyster restoration in Wellfleet Harbor. Coupled with her work, we had had some other folks who had encouraged us to look at oysters as a means of improving water quality. And after about two and a half or three years worth of research, We've, we've come to the conclusion that probably the, the safest, soundest, quickest things that we can do to improve our water quality is to begin to restore our traditional salt marsh, oyster reef, and eventually the eelgrass beds that used to be part of Mother Nature's uh, buffers and filters for the, uh, for the marine environment. The alternative would be to spend potentially millions and millions, even hundreds of millions of dollars on sewer systems to remove nutrient way upstream those alternatives would take about uh, 30 years before the water would improve. Doing natural restoration, we can get water quality improvement almost immediately within a matter of a few years. The, the cost difference between natural filtration and um, sewer systems, nitrogen removal this way is, a, is about five to ten dollars per pound removed. A traditional sewer option could be anywhere from five hundred to a thousand dollars per pound to remove the nitrogen. At the same time, by restoring our natural populations and our natural buffers and filters, this also is habitat for, for fish. Uh, most of the uh, fish that we catch and used to catch in Cape Cod Bay, it was named for uh, cod originally, Cape Cod. Those cod are largely gone because not just of overfishing, but also because this kind of habitat doesn't exist very much, if, it, if at all, in the Massachusetts estuarine environments. And so as a result, these little fish don't have a place to grow up. So this nursery habitat is critical to, to build up in the food chain uh, to, to restore the kinds of fish stocks that we used to have uh, on Cape Cod. In addition, people talk about sea level rise and global warming. These shells are calcium carbonate, so this is basically like a, a Tums, and it reduces the, uh, the pH of the water and makes it suitable and habitable for all of this stuff that's growing. So when we talk about ocean acidification, this is one of the key elements to preventing ocean acidification is to have these natural buffers in. In addition, as sea level rises and as we get more active sto uh, storms, many people are concerned about their homes, and you may see these homes here in the background. Well, as we get these bigger storms and bigger storm waves and storm surges, uh, these homes are at risk, and largely because there's nothing really protecting them. Historically, you had salt marsh, hard substrate like oyster reef, and these things act as natural buffers to, to diminish the energy of waves as they come in. So the, this habitat used to look like that, hard structure and then the soft salt marsh. Now it's uh, liquid sand, which in a wave and in a big storm and so on, uh, doesn't do much at all to mitigate those waves and, and they can, this can easily erode out and be undermined. There, there are a variety of reasons why we've um, begun this oyster restoration project. Uh, most of them financial, but uh, clearly there's a lot that are, that are great for Mother Nature. And uh, so going forward, uh, we've already seen about a 20% reduction in, in nutrient and nitrogen as a result of this project. And we're continuing to monitor that and do the biological assessments to hopefully replicate this throughout the harbor and make this a national example of what natural restoration can do, not only for the environment, but also for the economy. This will be a real win-win also for the commercial shell fishermen as we get more population, there's more spawning, and ultimately more oysters that can be harvested. So uh, really there's a, it's a, a complete win-win-win kind of a scenario and that's, that's what uh, this project's really all about.